Welcome to All About the Philippines. Many times on this channel I've been asked by men the question, do I have to pay for my Filipina's wife family? For those married to a Filipina, there is plenty to consider in deciding for yourself what is the right thing to do. And I'm going to break it all down for you right here in this video so you'll have all the information you need to decide for yourself. So just hold on for one moment and we'll get to the video in a flash. Looking to date a Filipina or already dating or married to a Filipina? I use my experiences around my relationship with my Filipina wife of six years as well as my professional experience as a qualified relationship counsellor for the past 10 years to help you on your way. Are you after information, tips and resources for a successful relationship with a Filipina and maintain it? too easy. Just take a second to subscribe and click the bell icon and I promise you'll never miss out again. The question of sending money to your Filipina's wife has been a sticking point for some men for a very long time who have married a Filipina. My way of looking at it is firstly to look at where you and your Filipina wife are living and what income you may have in that country. If you're retired to the Philippines and you rely on your age pension to get you through each month and can't really afford to give money to your wife's parents or help pay for the siblings education etc then perhaps it's up to your wife if she wants to help out her family to go and get a job so she can do this. One needs to be practical and most Filipinas will be happy to go and get a job if she really feels the need to help out her family in whatever capacity. Being good natured and wanting to help can lead to financial problems if you don't budget correctly when living in the Philippines. But most guys who have been asking this question have been living in their own countries. But just before we get into that, any guy that was interested in dating a Filipina and then marrying a Filipina should have done his homework around Filipino culture and how close and respectful Filipino families are and how they have a strong sense of helping each other out, especially towards their parents. If one had done their homework, then they would have never really be asking the question, do I have to pay for my Filipino wife's family? And to be totally honest, for those that are opposed to your Filipina sending money to her parents, you really shouldn't have married her in the first place. This is a very common thing for Filipinas to do, especially when they move to a foreign country to marry a man and live there. A Filipina may see this new life as a great opportunity, not only for herself, but also her parents and possibly family members. But that doesn't mean she wants to send all of your money home. So for the guys who have their Filipina wife with them in their home country, this is the way I suggest you look at the situation. Discussions like how much she wants to send home and to whom she wants to send the money to and how often really should be all discussed before you even marry each other. As these issues can divide a marriage and cause some big problems, one shouldn't be shy to discuss this as soon as an engagement is looming, along with many other important questions, which I also have a video coming out very soon on this very topic. But for the guys who are finding that sending money to a parents is quite a difficult thing to swallow, I recommend you and your wife sit down together and calmly discuss the situation. It may require a bit of give and take from both of you and some negotiating to work out what is the best thing to do for each of you. The important things to consider in making this decision is looking at your own finances. Do you have a job bringing in regular income? Does your wife work and does she bring in additional income? Many Filipinas will be very hard working women, especially when they come to your country. And that is because they sense a good opportunity to make a decent living and create not only a future for the two of you together, but she'll be very proud to be able to send money back home to help a family who she loves and thinks about very often. In the Philippines, especially when the parents become older, they are looked after by the family and usually the Filipinas will be the carers. It's a natural expectation that the adult children will make sure that the parents are looked after 
and not sent off to old age homes like we do in the West. A good and caring Filipina will want to help out in this regard and if she's overseas then the way she can do this is by sending money home on a monthly basis. If you as her husband are stopping her from doing so then you're stopping her being the caring woman you fell in love with and resentment or deceit may grow within her. After all she is working hard she does have the right to send money home if she wants to. She will see your refusal to allow her to send money home and what she will do is hide the money and send it home herself. She may even give her friends the money and ask them to send it for her so her husband doesn't find out. This is a common thing that does happen and I've seen it here in Australia myself. So don't think she'll be the good, loyal and subservient wife and accept your king of the castle viewpoint. If she feels strongly on this, she will find a way to get the money to her family. So better that you two work out a plan together that you can both be happy and transparent with. Of course, when discussing how much to send home and how often will depend on your own circumstances in your country. Things such as are you working or are you on a pension? And as I said earlier, is your wife working? And how much is your combined income against what your monthly expenses may be? Does this leave a comfortable amount left over to send something to your wife's family? And remember guys, if you've married her, then this family should also be considered as your family. Now, of course, you don't want to be budgeting down to the last cent. You'll need a safety net for unexpected expenses. Other important factors to consider is your Filipino family itself. Are the parents too old to work or do they have an income and if so, how much? What other family members may be living in that household and do they work or making good efforts to find work or do they sit around all day drinking, smoking and watching TV? I'm a believer in helping those that help themselves. If people are making a genuine effort to better their life and their family situation, then I'm happy to help out as much as possible as long as I'm not being taken advantage of. So once you've looked at the whole situation from your finances to the family situation, you're in a position then to make a fair decision together with your wife. For some people it may be that you can send home 20,000 pesos a month and for others it may be three or 4,000 pesos a month or possibly even nothing if you don't have the excess required or your wife isn't working or it may be obvious that the family or parts of the family are trying to take advantage of you. And once you and your wife have come up to this decision together, it should be up to your wife to tell the Filipino family of the decision and how much if any will be sent home on a monthly basis. However be aware I have seen some families get very upset when they feel they aren't getting enough money being sent home. In cases such as this be as supportive as you can to your wife because this will cause her very much grief and possibly have your own wife tell them that you now handle all the finances yourself and all the money requests or problems should come through you. In time, most will get used to this and will be more accepting and the friction between the family and your wife will most likely ease. Remember guys, $75 to $100 a month can make a difference and some people, instead of sending money on a regular basis, may decide to help them out with a small business of some sort, like a fish pond, piggery, growing and selling vegetables etc. For some families being more self-reliant can be a good thing to have that source of income but for other families they may not be very business minded and they may run it into the ground very quickly. For others like myself you may decide to build a small house for the parents and some family members to call home and that will replace any regular monthly allowances. And of course, one can always help out if there are any family emergencies that are genuine. So in short, guys, my answer is that if you don't want 
your Filipino wife to send money home in any situation, then you never should have married her in the first place. Look at your situation and the family situation and make a decision together as a couple that you're both happy with. And be sure not to ignore how important this may be to your wife and be understanding of her feelings and listen to her carefully. For those guys who have asked this question previously and those of you who may be thinking it, I hope this video has helped to make things clearer as to what you will do or what you'll need to change in the way things are being done now. Please leave your comments below if you've enjoyed the video or found it informative, please hit the like button. Feel free to share the video with all your networks and subscribe to our friendly community if you haven't already done so. And press the bell icon to get all our future videos. Thanks very much for watching guys. I appreciate all your support. Take care and bye for now.